Welcome to the assembly video for your Broil King gas grill. Please use this video as a companion to your assembly manual. Now let's get started. Before starting, unpack all components of your barbecue and lay them out in your workspace. Use the drip pan to hold the contents of the hardware bag. You will need the following tools to assemble your Broil King barbecue. A number two Robertson or Phillips screwdriver. Before getting started, we recommend that you get the help of a friend during the assembly process. Step one, using the eight short screws, fasten the caster brackets to the base. Ensure the two casters with leveling feet are mounted on the front of the base. Now tighten using your screwdriver. Step two, align the two side panels with the rear panel. Set the rear panel in place and tighten the four screws with your screwdriver. Step three, lift the cabinet assembly onto the assembled base. Using the same screws as step one, secure the cabinet side panels to the base and caster brackets. Step four, place the door catch bracket between the cabinet side panels and the cabinet posts. Use the four screws to secure the three pieces together. Now tighten the screws from the outside of the cabinet. Make sure not to over tighten the screws completely. Leave approximately 1 8 of an inch to be exposed on each screw. Step 5. Using the four pointed screws, install the grease rail system. Each panel has two sets of three screw holes for mounting. On this model, mount each screw in the third hole closest to the rear of the cabinet. Before mounting, please make sure both grease rails are facing each other. This will hold the grease tray. Step six, install the vertical support for the cabinet shelf using the two screws provided. Step seven, Install the cabinet shelf body. Secure it in place using the two smaller screws located on the interior. And the two larger screws located on the exterior. Step eight, install the tank retainer bracket on the left-hand side panel. There are six square openings on the side panel. Now mount the bracket by putting the carriage bolt through the middle and lower opening on the forward openings. Place the bracket over the carriage bolt, then the washer, and secure it with a hex nut. 
Note the square stamped into the hex nut. This is locking hardware for the tank retainer bracket. Step 9. Now use the box of the cooking grids to elevate the cook box. Uncoil the electrode wire, regulator and side burner hose. Lay the cook box assembly on its back. Bring the cabinet assembly in line with the bottom of the cook box. Be sure to pass the electrode wire, regulator and side burner hose through the gap towards the front of the cabinet. Step 10. Attach the rear panel to the base with the two screws provided. Step 11. Attach the cabinet to the cook box assembly by using one screw on each corner of the cook box. Step 12. From step four, now it's time to tighten the four screws on the cabinet panel door catch bracket assembly. Step 13. With the help of a friend, stand your barbecue grill upright. Step 14. Install the door handle on your grill. Remove the bolts and washers from your door handle and pass one bolt with washer through the door. Install the bezel and tighten partially. Repeat with the other bolt, washer and bezel and fully tighten both sides with your screwdriver. Repeat this step for both doors. Step 15. Install the doors on your barbecue grill. Start by inserting the upper door pin into each opening and then bring the bottom pin into place. Secure the doors using the retainer clips on the upper door posts. Step 16. Attach the match light assembly to the bolt hole on the right side of the control panel end cap. Now tighten using your screwdriver. Step 17. Attach the shelf brackets to the cook box using the four long bolts and eight washers. Note the notches on the shelf bracket should be installed facing downward. Please make sure not to over tighten. Remove all four screws from both ends of the shelf brackets. Step 18. 
Attach the side shelf to the shelf bracket. Do not tighten the bolts that the shelf clips onto. Do the same for the side burner shelf. Then remount the four screws to keep both side shelves in place. Step 19. The right side shelf is designed to fold down for easy and convenient storage. To fold down, simply lift the side shelf up and lower it to the side of the cabinet. Step 20. Be sure to lock the side burner in the upright position by installing the two screws through the cook box and into the side shelf. Install one screw at the back of the cook box and one at the front. If desired, the same may be done to the right side shelf. Step 21. Now pull the side burner hose and electrode wire through the hole on the left side of the cabinet. Install the side burner hose by removing the horseshoe clip from the hose. Then insert the hose into the burner tube and replace the horseshoe clip. Now attach the electrode wire to the side burner igniter. Step 22. Install the battery to the igniter. Begin by unscrewing the igniter cap, installing the battery with a positive terminal out, and then replace the cap. Attach the lid to the cook box using the bolts, nuts, and pins provided. Install the bolt into the cook box and tighten with your screwdriver. Secure the assembly using the cotter pin. Step 23. Install the flavor waves, cooking grids, and warming rack. Note that the warming rack sits in grooves at the rear of the cook box to keep the warming rack in place. Step 24. Attach the grease cup onto the grease tray assembly and slide it into place on the grease rails. Step 25. Install the propane tank in your barbecue grill. Secure using the tank bracket assembly. Now attach the hose and regulator. Step 26. Install the rotisserie bracket. Install the bracket with two bolts from the outside of the casting facing in. Use the supplied wing nuts on the inside of the casting to secure the bracket in place. Now slide the rotisserie motor onto the bracket. Now install the rotisserie kit. Place the forks on the spit rod and secure. Place the collar on the spit rod with the set screw on the inside. Install the threaded collar on the threaded end of the spit rod.
Put the counterbalance weight on the spit rod and secure it with the handle. Install the assembled spit rod onto the gas grill with the open end going into the motor. Use your screwdriver to tighten the set screw. Now is a good time to look over your gas grill, ensuring that everything is secure and in place. From there, light your gas grill and leave it on medium-high for at least 20 minutes to burn off any of the residue from the manufacturing process. To season your cast iron grids, preheat your gas grill to 400 degrees, then turn the burners off. Now coat with cooking oil using a basting brush or an oil mister. Then you're ready to grill. Now is a good time to register your gas grill. Please visit RoyalKingBBQ.com today and click on the link. It's quick and easy. We'll provide you with the very best in customer support, recipe ideas, informative videos, grilling tips, and much more.